looking at here? This is my selfie with Bernie Sanders. I believe this was the third time I met him. Yeah. We actually had him come here about this time last year. I'm like a big history. A year ago, really? Yeah, yeah he's well been before forever. Like, I'm a, he keeps coming back. Like, Wait, so he came here way before he announced? Yes, yes. he was here with the Hargan Institute last February. And so I went, I was like, this guy's a revolutionary. He's awesome. Yeah. Then, once he announced, I was like, wow, I'm super excited he's running. Then I saw him. We saw went, him um, I was I was there too. There were several rallies. There was a rally. Um, all the candidates came. It was for the Democratic debate, I believe. And we had yeah. a rally. We had Hillary. We had Bernie. Yeah. And what's funny, the difference between Bernie is um, he came, you know, he doesn't have all these, like, people all around him. And if you ask him to take a picture, he'll come up to you and take yeah. a picture. He was exhausted. We went, there was a tailgate actually just a couple blocks off campus. Yeah. It's the like Instagram, I mean the Snapchat filter was just him with like a like a ping pong ball. Yeah, like, it was so and, like, he was about to play beer pong. Whereas like you go to the you want like I wanted to try in all the rallies. You go to the Hillary rally, you have to go through at least like an hour and a half of security. And I mean I understand while well, she was the first lady and I still don't like it. He was parading down the street. In the street with everyone, eating the He's like a barbecue person. with us. It was He's a regular person. My dad looked him up or whatever. You know, he makes the least compared to um, all the other candidates. You know, He's a regular person that's trying to make a change. He's not a politician. You know, Trump's all like, I'm not a politician. I'm not old. I'm not a politician. No, you're a billionaire. Yeah, he doesn't you're a billionaire. Yeah, he doesn't you're care about just the power. Yeah. He doesn't just want the power. He wants the change, and I think that's the biggest. Yeah. Say that again. He doesn't just want the power, he wants the change. And that's what's the biggest That's what's so crucial, you know? That's exactly right. So do you have any friends that support Hillary? Or O'Malley, but let's, let's yes. focus on Hillary. <laughs> yes. yes. Uh, actually, actually, what's like the, the, how many, like in terms of percentage wise? Um, I think actually here at Drake, Bernie is doing a lot better than Hillary. So when I do encounter a friend, Surprisingly. Here, yes. Um, a lot of the people that I know who may be professors or uh, teachers or faculty, I know a lot of them I see wearing Hillary stuff. And it's right. kind of more of like the middle the generational age. gap, honestly. Yeah. Because the thing is, that's been her problem, um, you know, trying to get the young voters. She's not hip and cool. And I don't care about that, you know? It's not that <laughs> not Bernie's Bernie hip. Sanders. Exactly. He's, he's this little, like, little old Jewish man. Like, he's not, like, <laughs> wool or hip or anything. There's so many funny memes about him, you know? Yeah. That's it. But Hillary is so stuffy and has this way about her. And she's yeah. fishy. I don't like her. Even and people who don't pay that. attention to, like, politics in general, I've tended to see, oh, I don't really like that she does, like, she seems yep. untrustable. And then it's just kind of like an air of vibe about it. Do you, I don't know. pushing back just a little bit um, from the other perspective. Yeah. Do you think, I mean, her argument has been, well, Republicans have placed this idea out there in the universe and repeated it so many times that people don't even know where they get these suspicions from because there's so many conspiracies that have been fabricated yes. and repeated a million times over. Of course. Is there, do you feel like some of that has penetrated the Bernie ecosystem? Yeah. It definitely has. People, you know, it's such a dirty word, especially for people older than us, socialism. He's a democratic socialist. That's a totally different thing. And, you know, with Fox News just saying, socialist, 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 you know, yeah. it frightens a lot of people that feel, especially... They call me a socialist. Yeah. yeah. Especially exactly. the people who, they live through either something involving, like, the Cold War, and that really is that generational gap at play. And you, like, I figured that some of the older people that did live through, like, at least the 90s, they would have seen, like, I feel like there was a lot of corruption and, like, people always bring up, like, Lewinsky, but I think it's more important when you hear about someone who committed suicide and left their names in their notes saying you're corrupt. Like, how does that not make national? I mean, and it did make national news, but how do they not remember that as something that stands out as corruption? How did you learn about that? Um, I've done, uh, I, hope, I love politics. I've been involved in politics since I was a kid, running around. How old are you guys? Uh, I'm 20, she's 19. Yeah. So I'm sophomores. I remember yep. being eight and I came up with this rhyme like Bush is a tush, running around shaking my puppy like Bush is a tush. But yep. like, 
Are your parents point, Democrats? Um, my mom is a Democrat. My dad is an independent. Um, I consider myself to be an independent, but I usually am a lot more liberal. Um, yeah, so I always grow up my parents to be like, oh, like, look up this, this person, look up this government reform, all these things, and I guess I just ended up researching a lot of them. Um, and when I heard that Hillary was going to be running, I was actually working the Sparkin Steak Fry last year when she had not quite announced that she was running. And even then I was like, okay, she's probably, she's like, she's gonna run. Oh, yeah, what do I know. have to know about her? Yeah. So. so last question I have for you is this registration process. Do you feel like people really got it? It's crazy. I have friends who want to be who aren't really into politics that I'm trying to get to come, you know, um, and it's not really that big of a deal for them, and because of this process, it's kind of putting people off, and we actually have a friend who's still standing outside, Yeah. and it's hard because they say if you're not in the door by 7, then you don't get in, but if you've been waiting in line, it's crazy. I'm standing outside for 25 minutes, sending us texts, my fingers are numb, because they I don't mean, have me. forms out there. Yes. They lost their master copy for it. Who's, who's yes. running the... I don't know. There are just we random just people see, yeah. going about and people we yelling. See, like, people who are in charge of like Bernie and Hillary campaigns by themselves. They're not supposed to be in charge of this. It's supposed yeah. to be like, government run. But they're the ones who end up having to lead it because they want their candidate to be elected. And if nobody else helps to organize it, then it's not going to happen. Okay, great. Thank you, guys. What's your names? Amanda O'Malley. Jennifer Vickers. Thank you so much. Yep,